If you're still searching for the perfect gift for someone, you're not alone. We've all been there. The good news is that there are plenty of ways to make your gift stand out from the rest. And one of them is knowing more about who you're giving it to in order to get a better idea of what they might like. In this video, we'll go over some strategies for figuring out the receiver's favorite things so that you can find something they'll really appreciate, even if they don't know it yet. Here are some reasons why knowing our receiver's favorites isn't just helpful in gift-giving situations, but could also be useful in making other decisions. Know the receiver's personality. Preparing a gift for receivers can be a daunting task. It is important to know the receiver's personality, likes and dislikes, hobbies, interests and passions in order to make sure that the gift you are giving is something they will truly appreciate. Knowing the receiver's favorite music and movies can also help you pick out something that they will love. If you know the receivers love music or like to watch movies, you can buy their favorite music or give away free movie tickets. This way, you can be sure that your gift will be something they will enjoy and appreciate. With this knowledge, you can find the perfect gift for your receivers that will show them how much you care about them. Consider the receiver's favorite colors and styles. Knowing the recipient's favorite colors can help you choose a gift that suits him or her. Color preference is a common trait, and it often relates to personality type. For example, people who enjoy bright colors may be extroverted, while those who prefer muted tones may be more introspective. Colors can also be used to give your gift an extra special touch by coordinating them with other elements in your recipient's home decor or wardrobe. Put yourself in a receiver's shoes. To know receiver favorite, you need to put yourself in the receiver's shoes. This is done by considering what you would like to receive, what the receiver has already received from you and from others, and what he or she has already received from other people. For example, if a colleague gave me a book on my birthday last year, then it makes sense for me not to buy another one for his or her birthday this year. If my friend had mentioned that she loved chocolate truffles, but did not have time to make them herself then I could consider making her some delicious chocolates with nuts and caramel as ingredients. Analyze the receiver's daily life and needs. To know your receiver's favorite, you need to analyze the receiver's daily life and needs. What does he or she need at work? Does he or she have a cell phone case and headphones, pen and notebook? Anything that he or she plans to buy recently on his own? Maybe it's a birthday gift for someone special in mind. Compare your ideas to other people's opinions. Another way to ensure that your gift is a hit is to ask other people for their input. You can ask friends and family or even just people who know the receiver well enough to give you some advice on what they would like. They might have some ideas of their own, too. If you're still not sure what to get, go with something that's personal. If you know someone well enough to ask them for advice on what they want, then it should be easy to find out what they like and dislike. This can help narrow down your search a bit so that you don't waste too much time looking at things they wouldn't want. Choose something you know they'll enjoy but can't afford. Have you ever heard the saying, money doesn't buy happiness? It's true. The best way to show that person you care is by giving them something they'll love, not just something you think they can afford. Don't be afraid to spend more on a gift if it means making them happy. And don't worry about what other people think either, everyone has an opinion about how much money should be spent on gifts, but at the end of the day, it's up to you to decide how much your loved one deserves as far as gifts go. Finally, don't worry about what you can afford. Gifts are all about pleasing someone else and making them happy, not spending all your savings on someone else's happiness, unless that's what makes you happy. Knowing more about the recipient will help determine the right gift. If you know the receiver well, you can choose a gift they will like. If you don't know the receiver well, you can ask friends or family members for advice. When you are buying a gift for someone, consider the following. Is this person easy to shop for? 
If so, consider something useful, such as a new pair of shoes, fun, like an inflatable pool, or personal, like a photo of you and the recipient. If not, think about what interests them. Some people like practical gifts that they can use every day, like socks or books, while others prefer gifts that reflect their personality or interests. It's important to know the person you're buying for, but don't get too hung up on it. If you aren't sure about a particular gift idea, then don't choose it. There are plenty of other options out there that will be just as good if not better. Just remember that finding the perfect present isn't an exact science, it takes some trial and error, and maybe even a little luck. So whatever happens, keep trying until you find something awesome for your special one.